Today we're talking about what's next for Bay Street veteran Michael Weckerly. So Niall, the Weck, as he's known, built his name as being an all-star trader on Bay Street, moving large blocks of shares for companies and making a big profit off commissions doing so. Then he struck out on his own. He found a difference capital, an investment firm, and amid all that, he found time to be a dragon on CBC's show Dragon's Den. And lately, he's been embroiled in a legal dispute with a former friend, right? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, this has been quite a serious legal spat between these two guys. So we have Mike Weckley on one side and then Rohit Sagal, long-term uh, Bay Street money manager, sued Mr. Weckley back last year for non-payment of a $1.4 million debt. Then, after Mr. Weckley failed to pay the debt over a series of months, uh, Mr. Sagal uh, escalated the situation and brought a bankruptcy application order against uh, Mr. Weckley. And then they finally had their day in court uh, last week. And this week, uh, the two seem to have kissed and made up because the bankruptcy application order has finally been dismissed. Why? Because Mr. Weckley has finally paid most of the money he owes to Mr. Scal. So he cut him a check for $1.1 million US. Okay, so more time now to focus on Difference Capital, which is interesting as a firm because they're focused on tech investments, on healthcare, on media, sectors that have been really hot in recent months, but still the firm is struggling, right? Um, yeah, Jacqueline, the company has been struggling pretty much since day one. So it went public in 2012. Most of its investments haven't worked out. There's been some spectacular failures along the way, such as uh, Lignol Energy, which went in receivership. Uh, the stock's down about 70%. And there's been a slew of executive departures uh, from the firm. So, but what about tech? Because with energy investments uh, tanking this year, I mean, a lot of focus from investment bankers has been on the tech sector. This full pipeline of IPOs that we've been hearing about for months, if not a couple of years now, I mean, maybe the, some of these companies are moving closer to the public markets. And if so, is that good news for Difference? Because I think they have some investments in that space, right? Yeah, to answer your question, it's a little bit of good news. So they have a number of smaller investments in uh, some technology companies that appear to be on the verge of going public uh, this year. So they have holdings in Hootsuite Media and Vision Critical. Now, Difference will report its Q4 earnings next week, so people will be looking at the earnings statement, see if there's any mention of when these companies uh, may finally go public and potentially then Difference uh, makes some gains on those investments. The other thing, of course, people will be looking for in those earnings is whether Difference makes any money. Uh, it has lost about $25 million over its past uh, two quarters, so people will be seeing if they can uh, turn things around on that level, Jacqueline.